Shalom, Shalom. Give it all praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakhak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone for teaching this truth that's gone all around the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect out there, the brothers who are preaching this gospel to the four corners of the earth, and you few sisters and even you young children who believe in the gospel of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, say to you all, Shalom. This is your brother, Atazawan Bayatha, and bring a quick lesson, okay? And this lesson is. is a lesson that I've been holding on to for a week or so, you know, not real sure whether I was going to get into it, but, you know, the spirit was on me to go ahead and bring this out, you know, uh, as we see this, this so-called new year is <laughs> starting out off with a bang, right? People dropping like flies left and right. Now, tentatively, I'm going to name this lesson scoffers and mockers. Your mouths will be shut. In 2023 all right something to that effect okay because as we we know the elder apostle Tahar has named this year coined this phrase um, you know the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass Lord willing I got that correct okay so with that being in mind it also deals with you scoffers and mockers out there all right. Uh, and in particular, you know, just from a personal perspective, when you have family members who mock you, okay, which was such the case for myself here over the last week and a half or whatever, you know, which that's fine, you know. Um, there's going to be there's going to be payment made to all you unbelievers, you scoffers and mockers out there, and this is really. An exhortation, I guess you could say, for the brothers and sisters out there, the youngsters who have repented and come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Amen. And don't let these people uh, deter you or discourage you. Okay. Uh, we are on the right track. We are on the right path. Okay. So nothing, none of the words that they can say to you, you know, um, should should be to your detriment. All right. Just, just continue to pray that the Lord keep the spirit on you, all right? And in due time, we're going to have this victory, okay? So let's start right here in Jude 1 and 17. It reads, But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. And that's what family members, so-called acquaintances, friends, co-workers, um, strangers, okay, when they see you or they hear about your faith and or watch you or whatever, whatever the case may be, however they find out that you are in the truth, right, that you are a Hebrew Israelite, okay, and whatever harsh speeches and words that they have for you, don't let that deter you, okay? Don't let that bring no shame on you, okay? Because they're they're the ones who will lose in the end, all right? Don't don't get you know frazzled over it, you know, and uh, don't let their words you know deter you from you know pursuing the scriptures and pursuing the wisdom and knowledge, right, of the Holy Bible, okay? Um, let's go on a little bit. Um, verse 19 these be they who separate themselves sensual having not the spirit but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy spirit keep yourselves in the love of the most high right keep yourself in the love of the lord through these scriptures right through listening to the men who are, who are preaching and teaching and be faithful okay unto the end all right Keep yourselves in the love of the Most High, looking for the mercy of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, unto eternal life. Okay? So we keep these things in mind. Now, I was scoffed at, okay, by somebody in my own family, okay? Just just, just to give you, you know, an example that it's, it's happening. It's happened to a lot of brothers, okay? So if it's happened to you and, and, and you know, even to you sisters, okay? 
If it's happened to you, it's no strange thing. Okay? All right? I was, I was scoffed at so tough that uh, I, was, I was just about at a loss for words because I was really, you know, getting ready to say some things that, uh, you know, <laughs> that wouldn't have really been nice. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, point being that, you know, we, 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 we take this cheerfully. Okay, no big deal, right? So this is Second Peter 3 and 3, and it reads, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation, right? And that's how you have, that's the attitude, right? Particularly of two-thirds of our own people. Right, who will tell you that, hey man, all things are the same. Ain't nothing gonna change, man. You, you people been saying this forever that the, the world was going in and you know the Lord gonna return and you know they going on it with their with their daily business, okay. But we see the handwriting on the wall, okay, and you see these bodies dropping, you know, on a daily now, and the Most High is gonna catch up to all these scoffers and mockers. Okay, verse uh, five, for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the most high, the heavens were of old and the earth standeth out of the water and in the water, thereby the world that that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the date of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And, and, and if you're an unbeliever, you are all, you're an ungodly man. And that means woman as well. Okay? And I got scoffed at by a woman. <laughs> right? Oh, boy. Anyway, so we don't have to worry about these people. Okay? They're going to get their just due. All right, so this is uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. It reads, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, right? So, you know, those that can't get it, they just can't get it. It's not meant for them, you know? And, and, and a lot of them, they get angry and twisted up in their emotions because they butt hurt, right, that they can't get it. And so the only thing they can do is lash out at you, all right? So we take these things cheerfully. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion have light with darkness, and what concord hath Hamashiach with Bilal, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? You see, so we don't we don't have anything to do with them. Okay, now it does. It might, if, if it's never happened to you before, or, or, you know, and it's your first time somebody scoff at you for, for your faith, you know, it might sting a little bit. It might hurt, okay? But no, this is par for the course, especially as we coming into these last days here. These, I mean, I believe this year is just going to be really just off. It's going to be off the chain, okay? There's going to be a lot of dead bodies laying around. Verse 16. And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As the Most High has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. You see? So, never mind what they say about you. Never mind how they laugh and point their finger at you. Okay? This is, a. Uh, let's see. It's Micah 7 and 7, right? And it reads, Therefore I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the Most High of my salvation. My power will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me, right? So, you know, we put it in the context of uh, when we look at this now. And, and, and there are those who are getting their jollies. They're having their, they're getting their licks on you right now. Okay. We'll take this. Okay. 
because the Lord is our light. And eventually that light is, is really going to brighten everything up for those that have repented, okay? All right? The Lord is our salvation, right? That light, okay? Verse 9, I will bear the indignation of the Lord, right? We're taking it on the chin right now, okay? But it's not going to always be this way. I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? Right? And so we put it in the context of the goddamn nigger woman, okay, who's always running her fucking mouth excuse me, okay, who doesn't know anything and tries to talk to you maybe as if, hell, maybe as if she's a man, you know, like 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 they gonna jump on you and whoop your ass, you see? But there's a day for these women that are like that. And, and, and even so, even for the sisters out there, you know, you might, you might have some people in your life who talk to you like that, you know, don't be discouraged, all right? Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which say unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets, right? And, it, and when I, I read that because it reminded me of the story of uh, Salakia, of Job, okay? get it right here. All right, this is Job 2, starting in uh, the first verse, and it reads, Again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord Yahweh, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord Yahweh, right? And this also goes to show you that Satan is not out there doing his own thing, okay? When the Lord calls him, he got to show up, okay? And that's just a side note. Verse 2, And the Lord Yahweh said unto Satan, From whence cometh thou? And Satan answered the Lord. See, you got to answer the Lord. And said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth the Most High, and eschews evil? And still he holdeth it fast his integrity, although thou movest, movest him against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. But put forth thy hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thy hand, but save his life, right? He says, go ahead, you can test him, all right? But you can't kill him, all right? So Satan was like, yeah, I think this guy you got, you, you bragging on him maybe a little bit too much. I think I can make him curse you to your face. Go ahead and try, but you can't kill him. You see? So when Satan forth, verse 7, from the presence of the Lord and smote Job, the soil boils from the sole of his feet unto his crown, took him a pot shed and scraped himself with all and he sat down among the ashes then said his wife right here she comes then said his wife unto him dost thou still retain thy integrity curse God and die see and that's the attitude of a lot of these two thirds women out here okay they don't believe anything only thing they believe is what Esau put in front of them okay Verse 10, but he said unto him, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High, and shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. That's right. You know, you take the good with the bad, right? See, but a woman always, these wicked women, they want only good, right? And they can't, they can't understand anything. See, so anyway, we get ready to wrap this up. We got a couple more scriptures here. 
So this is uh, Matthew 10 and 34, and it says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household, right? And so that's what you have a lot of right now. Men of the Lord whose families have shunned them, right? Even, even women leaving men because they preach the truth. They don't believe in it, Right? They think that you've lost your mind, all right? Because you what? You don't want to have so-called fun anymore. You don't want to celebrate the so-called holidays. You don't celebrate birthdays no more. You don't you don't take her out on anniversaries no more. You didn't get her no birthday present. All these different things. You see? So that's putting men at difference in their household. They got a lot of enemies in the house even to the point of some that deal with their children now. You know, the, the children are, are being rude and disrespectful and hateful towards the man of the house, okay? But the Lord said he came to bring a sword and not peace. Verse 37, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it right. So we pushed all our chips to the middle of the table and we betting on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh if you will. Okay? So we give up this life, right? For Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and that don't set well with worldly people. All right, this is uh, James and uh, let's see here, it's locking. Yeah, let's just jump in right here, verse four. We'll make it quick. James four and four. And it reads, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. Do ye think that the scriptures say in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he says, the Most High resisteth the proud, but giveth grace to the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to the most high. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh unto the most high and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands ye sinners and purify your hearts ye double minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Right. So we groan all the day long waiting to get out of here. Wanting to get out of here having a hatred for this place, all right? And you two-thirds niggas out there, right? You scoffers, you mockers, you unbelievers, okay? So pretty much that's going to that's gonna do it. Let me get the last verse here, verse 10. It says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up, okay? So as humble believers, brothers and sisters, and even some of the young children now, Okay, you've heard this word, caught hold to it. Hey, don't let these people shake your faith. All right? Don't let them, uh, don't let their little snide comments they make about you, don't let it affect you. Okay? Stand strong for the word of the Lord. Right? And everything that we, we take, we take it cheerfully. All right? So, Lord willing, that's, that's a little comforting to those who may watch this video. I mean, you know, the scriptures always have a way of making you feel better, okay, at least for me, all right, and uh, like I said, I've been contemplating doing this, you know, it's a little bit personal, but I figured that somebody else could get something out of it as well, all right, and that you're not alone when you go through all these things, when you go, when you go through this turmoil with so-called friends and so-called family members, you know, 
they're beginning to turn on you, all right? But you you stay strong, all right? With that, I give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakak, Madash. I'll see you all on the next lesson. Shalom.